Hey everyone, so I'm on my way to the Miracle Water or Holy Water at Dawasamu Talevu in Fiji. So I'm just crossing the river bridge and you'll see parts of the river, river on your left. Now it was a one and a half hour drive. I started my journey in Nasinu. But the drive is absolutely amazing. Um, you'll see beautiful scenery, greenery. Um, it's just an amazing drive up to Dawasamo. <coughs> so you can use this video, I would say, to use as a marker, right? You'll see some buildings, some signs, some road signs, which you can use if you're heading towards Dawasamo. And I would say that um, there's there's a lot of um, vegetable stalls on the curb signs along the roads especially in Talevu so you can always stop and ask the friendly people they're very friendly and nice um, and they will guide you they will um, help you uh, to find your way um, that's just the best station in Nasori so this is parts of Nasori town and it's absolutely amazing it's, it's so much better now it's so much developed and so much cleaner now it's, it looks um, amazing and that's a uh, river river on my left hand side it's so beautiful um, I wish I could uh, stop and just, you know, spend a day <laughs> there picnicking. And this is a uh, primary school, I believe, that we passed. Um, it's on my left hand side. Um, I I'm not driving, by the way, my dad is driving. And uh, yeah, it's just so amazing. Um, we were stuck behind this truck, uh, which delayed us a bit. Uh, apparently, this is where there was a landslide some time ago. Um, a lot of beautiful scenery, a lot of mountains and clear skies. It was just a great day. Um, on my right hand side, on um, a hill, I saw the Surya Narayan Mandir. This is still in Nasuri. Unfortunately, we didn't have time to stop at the Mandir. If you do have time, please do attend the Mandir. This is Talevu town now. So we're in Talevu heading towards Dawasamu or the Natrandrave village I believe it's called and you'll see a road sign there so we had to head towards Natovi Jetty right still on Kings Road this is all Kings Road by the way um, as far as I know yeah it's all Kings Road so we pass through a lot of villages please stick to the speed limits um, please adhere to the road signs uh, don't rush, don't speed. You'll see. We did see some people speeding. That was sad because, I mean, there's a lot of pedestrians on on the road. There's kids on the road, and I would urge drivers to drive carefully, drive safely, stick to the speed limits. So this is getting very close to the actual site now. It's on gravel road. Now we did had to ask a vegetable stall uh, owner, and he guided us towards this way and I was told before coming that the mountain the, the tallest mountain that we see on our way um, that's actually where the miracle water is coming from I'm not too sure if, if that's um, correct or not I'm, I'm just saying what I was told so that you'll see on the left hand side there is a peak of a mountain and that seemed to be the tallest mountain there now it's all gravel road, the roads are a bit narrow, so I would urge you to drive carefully and slowly. There are a few um, large rocks on the road as well. So this is all being developed and built, um, so please drive safely. <coughs> and there's some empty stalls there. Now still on our way, so you can still see that mountain there on the right hand side you'll see um, the peak of the mountain um, and yeah so apparently that's where the miracle water comes from um, as I was told so the road is still narrow um, you'll have buzzers um, using the road as well so please be courteous and stop and give way if you have to still see that mountain uh, and you won't see, you're not gonna see many houses or uh, 
people around these areas you know, it's all trees and grass and greenery and mountains so on the left there was a campsite um, there's some sort of development going on um, so we had to keep going straight now we're going to the actual miracle water site um, I believe the water department has built some other sites where they have run water from the main site so you can access those as well and uh, it does give you the miracle water okay so we are very close to the village now and there you go that's the miracle water site Dawasamu there was a sign there on the right hand side you'll see that blue bus and that's where um, some of the taps are that have been run from the actual miracle water site so you can have access to the miracle water there as well and this is a queue um, that we're heading towards so uh, we had about 12 cars in front of us um, and there was a roadblock in front and everyone was waiting so we had to wait for about three hours so I would urge you to take um, water with you um, you know juices with you, you can get hot um, and something to eat snacks food you know um, take those things with you because you can be um, waiting for a while and I was told it's better to go early in the morning or late towards the afternoon we went we got there at about I'd say um, around midday so once the roadblock was opened and we were allowed through this is still heading towards the actual site and this road is very narrow so please drive carefully and it's still being developed the trees when we were there there were people walking and, and cutting down trees so hopefully soon it'll be much better but it's still great it still allows you access you just have to use common sense and be courteous that's all while driving Now this is the actual site, we're finally there and we were told that we had to reverse park, which we did. Now there's wooden stairs and ramps going down to the site, right? And there have been pipes built um, and the water is controlled by taps, right? Like, like from a normal tap, so there's some people going down the stairs and the ramp. So if you have someone on a wheelchair, you can easily take them down. Please bring a wheelchair with you, um, we did take a wheelchair with us um, and I'll just show this in slow motion so you can get more detail out of the video so it is a bit steep so um, you need I'd say three or four people if you have someone on a wheelchair just to be on the safe side and for that person to be strapped with a belt of some sort now this is where the water comes out you'll see white pipes I believe there were three pipes that are controlled by taps and you'll see people bathing under it right now I'd like you um, I'd like to show you something which we saw and we did experience a miracle um, we saw this lady and she's in a black and white dress um, and I'll show it in slow motion and if you look towards where the white arrows are pointing that's where she was sitting and she suddenly stands up and she she pretty much uh, became all better and when when she came there I saw her and she was actually helped by her relatives or maybe family members who were holding her because she couldn't walk by herself her feet her feet were shaking her legs were shaking her hands were shaking and she couldn't walk properly and she had to be helped down and she was seated on a chair just under the water and the guy in the red cap um, um, he was massaging her and giving her the miracle water and there was another guy massaging her now initially she she started yelling um, so I was actually standing somewhere else but when she started yelling I took my camera and, and tried to get a closer look at her and you'll see that people are actually looking towards her because she started yelling right um, but the miracle then happened is after bathing for a while and after getting a bit of massage and drinking the miracle water she finally stood up 
and started walking and she stopped shaking she wasn't shaking anymore so I'm not too sure what she had like if she was a victim of um, stroke or something like that but she was all better and she walked up the stairs by herself with no help and she was better suddenly so that's the miracle that I saw with my own two eyes and I would urge everyone if you have the time and the resources please do go um, to the Dawasamu site um, it's an amazing experience um, I really enjoyed the drive the people of Dawasamu were very friendly very helpful I'd like to thank them um, for helping so much um, and um, you know giving their time and resources to other people opening up their hearts and villages and allowing people in to experience this miracle water and it's actually helping people so that is just a great uh, great thing that they're doing thank you very much and I'd like to thank my dad um, Hammond as well for making this trip possible without him it wouldn't have been possible he was the one who took us there so thank you very much